Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here and welcome to another awesome video and today I'm here to help you guys clean up your guys' home screens on your Samsung Galaxy devices. So sometimes as you have your phone between several different months, maybe a couple years, your home screens kind of change a lot. You'll be deleting apps, moving stuff, but maybe you just want it to look like it came up right out of the box as if it was factory and it does clean it up a lot. So you can see I have three different phones that are sitting right here of the Galaxy S6 and then two of the Galaxy S7s. The reason why I have three different devices is because they're actually all three running on a different Android operating system. So in this way you can see exactly which phone is the one that you have so then you know exactly the exact steps to do when you are doing this little uh, tip. So the one on the very left hand side, just pull down the notifications panel and then click on these settings icons. So you can see I can do that with all three of the devices. So there is a small little difference between each phone, but what you wanna do is scroll to the very bottom where it says about device. And on the very first phone right over here, you can see that it is, it's running 5.0.2. Now with the phone in the middle, you'll have to scroll down to where it says software info. And right here it is running Android version 6.0.1. And then right over here on the right hand side, this is running the very latest Android operating system, which is Nougat, which is the 7.0. So right here you can kind of see, hey, I got Nougat, great, woot woot. Um, then right over here, here's the little old marshmallow, and then the little hidden uh, Flappy Bird game that is built right inside of the phone. So let's go right on back into how you'd be able to factory reset the screens. So you can see I've got a app that is missing there, and then down here, you know what, let's just get rid of one of these as well. So you can see it's not pretty, it doesn't really look that great, everything is just all moved around. What you'll do is you'll hit on the settings icon on the very top right hand side, then what you'll do is you'll find where it says applications. Now I'm going to actually head over here to this phone on the very right hand side which is running Nougat and I'm going to do the exact same things which is go to settings and I'm going to go all the way up to where it says applications. Now you're going to see that they both look a little different. So right here this is where you go where it says Android manager or application manager. You're going to scroll where it says all. Now if your screen does not look like this and it looks like this, you'll go to the very top right hand side and make sure you also show the system apps. That's the main thing with this brand new operating system is show system apps. Because what you will actually be doing is you will be deleting the data for an app that is referred to as TouchWiz Home. And for anybody who uses a Samsung phone, they might know that TouchWiz Home is actually what runs all of the different home screens. So this is what TouchWiz Home looks like on this phone right over here. You'll actually have to click on storage to where you'll be able to clear the data which all that does is it just deletes all the information that's stored on how you set your home screens, quote unquote. And let's move right on back to the home screen. You can see right here, it's right back to factory. I got my four apps there, four apps there. Um, and then you also have your Flipboard briefing. Now, Flipboard briefing is something that a lot of people don't really like to have on their phone. So let's basically do a little pinch to zoom there, scroll over and just turn it off. And then now you are right back to where you were from before. Now, when you have this phone over here that's running a little bit later of an Android operating system, when you scroll over to all, you're gonna do the exact same thing. You move over to where it says Touch Wiz Home, which per the alphabet is after the letter S. <laughs> there we go. Touch Wiz Home. Basically touch there, then this is where you'd be able to simply just clear the data, and now it's all cleared out. So what you do is you go right back home, and you're gonna notice from before, I did have a couple of these that was deleted. And right back over here is our Flipboard briefing again. So this was came, you know, exactly how the phone looked like if it came out of the box. And again, I'm not a huge fan of that Flipboard, so I'm gonna turn it off, head right back. And that is how you'd be able to reset all of your home screens all the way back to factory as if it came right out of the box to keep things kind of cleaned up. And all you gotta do is any of the apps that you guys are playing, make sure you just take them right back up onto the home screen so you'll be able to customize your home screens to make it look like you would like it to at this moment in time. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit on like and also subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.